Okay, I know it's going to take a few minutes for anyone to get in here. So what we are going to do is I'm going to sort some shirts today. I went to the auction earlier and uh, I bought a whole bunch of shirts. And I don't know what's in the bag. It's a huge bag, though, like a huge comforter bag. And um, I paid $15 for the whole bag, so I'm pretty stoked. I will say that I have already looked, and there's a couple shirts in there that I kind of like. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sort them, and uh, we're going to go through and uh, we're going to sort them and go through. And I'm going to put them either in two categories, either to like list on eBay or um, they're going to go to uh, see what my mic, my audio here. See what? Yeah, it's using my my right speaker here. So, like I said, what we what I did today is I went to an auction and I bought a bunch of stuff. You can kind of like if I move over this way. You can kind of see I bought all of this stuff here to uh, go through my either my personal online auction or it will be used to uh, uh, go on eBay. I did get some really cool stuff for eBay. I'll show some of that stuff in a little bit. I got a Shirley Temple doll. I know it's kind of like a weird item, but uh, it came in a glass case and I will probably list the Shirley Temple doll on ebay and then the glass case will be cleaned up and it'll go through my local facebook i actually have a facebook auction group i set up a group called madison county auction and i'll list like 20 or 30 items a week on there and then i own the store right out there is downtown and um, people can come in here i started on saturday it runs through the week ends on wednesday and then pickups on thursday from like four to seven and people bring me in money and it works pretty good. I typically make a couple hundred bucks a week. Uh, for me, reselling isn't about just uh, finding one thing to do. Like it's not about just reselling online, but like finding as many avenues to move stuff as I can. And that really helps me like have all these different streams come into my checking account to keep everything going so I can pay all my bills. Let me see here go to my trying to figure out um my comment section i don't know how that works there we go eh. hey uh ssgt galen uh united states marine corps thank you very much for being here uh one of the first shirts that i got already that i found um, is this Air Jordan shirt. That's pretty nice. It's an extra large. And to be honest, not to be weird, but it's all fresh and laundered. Like it's pretty nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to, we're going to, we don't need to be following me around a bunch because that's going to make you guys seasick, but I'm going to put these on hangers like this. And, uh, it's super nice, but, uh, I'm going to hang them back here, but it's a Michael Jordan shirt. It's an extra large. I'm glad that it's not a 2X because if it was a 2X, my boy, he would done have taken it. Here's a Denver Bronco shirt. That's actually really small. It's a medium, um, but, you know, I sell a lot of T-shirts. I actually have an antique booth. If you can tell, like right here over my shoulder, right there, I have a bunch of t-shirts. Um, I sell a bunch of t-shirts. We sell a ton of shirts through our uh, flea market booth. Uh, if you live local to me, um, we have a booth in Farmington, Missouri at Red's Flea Market. And um, we have... Um, I have four booths up there, and we do about a thousand dollars a month, which is pretty good. This is just your typical, like stuff like this. I don't keep. I might take it to the thrift store and donate it, but most likely it's going to go to. Uh, it's just going to. It's just going to go to the place to be donated, because um, like stuff like that don't sell for very much. Um, 
Like here's a, a tackle like South 94 uh, bait and tackle. And it's something that's a local item from somewhere. And it ain't going to sell too well. So that'll also be donated. Um, <laughs> now I do kind of like this. It says, I wish you were beer, Biloxi, Mississippi. And it's kind of a neat shirt. Something like this will go to the, it'll go to the flea market booth. Um, it won't be listed on eBay, but it's something that I can put up there. And I typically put five bucks on a t-shirt like this and all my graphic t-shirts, unless there's something rare or vintage or music, but right on the other side of my scream guy right here, all this stuff here, that's all concert shirts. I actually collect concert shirts, so I really don't sell too many of them, but, uh, yeah, that'll go to the booth for like five bucks. So that's a winner. I only need to make 15 bucks. I got this whole, uh, I got this whole bag here. Look at all of them shirts. I got all of that for 15 whole dollars. This is <laughs> this is kind of cool. This is a uh, Dixon uh, Crushers, some kind of automotive ser service. It's some kind of just uh, jersey from some softball team. I won't sell that. That'll go. Uh, <laughs> I don't ever. I've never been to California in my whole life. I'd like to visit. I've always wanted to go to Los Angeles or something like that. Here's Canton, Missouri. That's another shirt that'll just go to the donate pile over here. So far, I've only got three shirts that are keepers. And this is some kind of plumbing, heating, and cooling. Once again, it's another basket or, or like got the sleeves cut off of it. So that's definitely going to go to the uh definitely going to go to the the trash pile i don't know ax ax me this is a this is one that will go to the trash because it's got like some stains in the armpit so we'll file that one away um Something to do with St. St. Louis Hampton 10, 80, 80 bars. I don't know. It's going to be donated. So far, I'm not too super excited about this bag. I'm not seeing everything that, not, not seeing a lot of potentials. Here's one that says live generously. Once again, it's another uh, t-shirt for some kind of charity. Now this, people. Woo, take this one home to Francis. That's a little shirt right there. That's one of them little ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we're going to set that over to the side. I'm probably going to take it home to my wife and tell her uh, and tell her I got her a gift and watch her roll her eyes at me. I've never heard of, never heard of SAU Soxony. I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to deal with that one either. But, you know, it's it's a hit or miss. I, I love T-shirts. We have probably about, I would say we probably have about 300 T-shirts in our booth. I list most of them between 5 and $8. And um, we do really well. My goal is to hopefully, um, this is neat, 1998 Pepsi shirt. That's definitely a winner right there. That's awesome. Uh, Hazelwood, a PTA. Uh, but that's from 1998, so that's a good $5 shirt to take up to the booth. Um, my goal is to eventually get enough um, uh, money coming in through my booths. So I want to buy a Corvette. I love cars. That's my that's my thing. Um, you got some things for sale? NASCAR? Yeah, I'm not... I, I don't know much about NASCAR. I do like the NASCAR shirts and stuff like that. I used to watch way back when, when I was a kid. Um, that's just a white T-shirt. There's nothing to that at all. That'll Is there anything special? That is just a Stafford T-shirt, so that'll go to the donate pile. Um, I'd like to... Uh, I... I Stop heroin. That's definitely something. It's 
got a stain on the back of it, or I'd probably use that, but it's stained. So somebody would buy that, but we're going to put that in the donate pile. Here's an Abercrombie and Fitch. That's a woman's shirt. I don't sell female clothing. I, I just don't do it. Um, I don't want the returns and stuff like that. The Athletic. That'll definitely go to the Etsy. That doesn't fit my criteria. Um, oh, this is cool. <laughs> it's a cat with a crown. So I like that. That'll go to the booth for five bucks. But we sell quite a few T-shirts up there a month. I sell movies, T-shirts. Um, I sell toys. I have an antique booth. I have collectibles up there. That's no boundaries. That's Walmart. Um, this is Merry Frickin' Christmas. It's somebody's homemade t-shirt. That'll go to the donate pile. This is all ripped up. That'll go to the trash because nobody needs to... No sense in donating stuff that can't be... Uh, that can't really be used. I don't know. It says celebrating two years in Memphis. Not my, not my favorite t-shirt. This is cool. Denver Broncos, Main Street, Colorado. That's cool. I don't know how many Denver Broncos fans are in St. Louis um, or in Missouri. Mainly were the Kansas City Chiefs fans. That's a nice, that's a nice shirt. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. I think I put the hanger on backwards. Always put the hanger on backwards. I tell you what, stuff is getting. We went to the auction today. I spent 150 bucks and didn't get even fill my pickup truck up. This says, "Kissed the rest." Kissed the rest. Goodbye, went grandpa. Gamma Phi Bid Day. I don't know. Some kind of sorority stuff. It's going to go to the donate pile. This lady, she must have been a, a something or other. That's kind of cool. I like that. It says, uh, it says sinful on the back. <laughs> Woo. I don't know. That one probably, it's kind of a tiny shirt. The neck is a little ate up on it, but. I think it'll go to the donate pile. I'm pretty picky about the shirts that I uh, that I I take to the booth. Now this is cool. This is this is tiny, but it's a real thin Pink Floyd. I don't know what you call that, but the material is about see through. Um, but. That's a good shirt. We'll take a pink. We'll take old Pink Floyd here. What's your favorite Pink Floyd song? Uh, mine's uh, Comfortably Numb or Wish You Were Here. The wall, a brick and wall is good too and money and, you know, anything that was mainstream hit. What is up, Craigie Poo? How you doing? Thought I was done with clothes. No, I'm done with women's clothes because women's clothes are a pain in... The Patukas. I don't know if this was, this is unfortunately was modified, but it'll sell in the booth. ACDC 1979. It's a size medium. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, this gal here wanted to show her, her midriff off a little bit and uh, she modified it. Unfortunately, that. That's a uh, that's a good was a good shirt, but it'd be good for some eighteen to twenty something year old gal. To uh, unfortunately, they wore some of the had some of the nastiest. I don't know if you can get that out. I'm gonna save this because it's twenty one pilots. But it has big old bleach stains in the armpits. I don't know. She must have been wearing that big old white roll-on deodorant that you get from the dollar store or something like that. 
we have went through this bag of shirts and we're not even halfway done yet. Not even halfway done. This is just your standard pink women's shirt. That'll go to the donate pile. Because, ah, man, so many of these shirts are, are cut. This is Old Navy. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave these over to the side because my wife, she's a medium, so maybe she's something in there she can she can gravitate towards. That is Adidas. That's not too bad. Some of these shirts like this, I might like put $3.99 on or something like that. Not too bad. A little worn. Looks cool. Maybe it's made that way. Could be distressed on purpose. Green. St. Patty's Day is coming up. That's not too bad. Craig says, kind of like the Shane, if you look at it backwards, it will be straight. <laughs> this is cool. What's this? What's this, folks? Oh, oh, I've never heard of this before, but I kind of like it. It's Boogie Nights, St. Louis, Hollywood Casino. I don't know if it'll sell. I'm going to lay it over to the maybe pile because I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. That's definitely a, a maybe. Um, I don't typically put stuff up there that are like advertisement shirts, but that's kind of cool. This is cool. It's got a port and company tag. It is a double stitch. Let me be able to get a little bit more. There we go. Get a little bit more light in on this. And it's a Beale Street, New Orleans. Uh, Bourbon Street, sorry. So, and it's white. The thing about white t-shirts, they always get dingy and dirty. And they just suck. They suck. They'll get yellowed around the neck and stuff like that. That might be something that gets eBayed because that stuff does pretty good. Let's see here. <laughs> I've never heard of this place before. It's Camp Trulaski, like some kind of summer camp. I don't know. Not feeling it. Going to lay it here in that pile. It's growing more and more and more. I do see a Tommy Hill figure down there. A Tommy Hill figure. Um, Pineapple Whip, Springfield, Missouri. Now, this is a shirt that I will put in the booth because that's pretty daggum cool. Um, I really like that logo. Whoever, like, that logo, that's pretty fire. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty fire. That's got a lot of riz. I think that's how you use that word. I don't know. I hear my kids use it every once in a while. I, I remember when I was young, we used words like, that's radical. And now, um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? That's pretty dang, that's pretty dang cool. What is up, Jesse? How are you doing? That Adidas shirt? Um... It is a, this is a small girl. It's a size medium. It's a, it's a medium. This was a lady, so she was pretty little. They're all smalls and mediums. But that's pretty cool. I really like that. That is an awesome colors. Those colors, the yellow of the shirt, the teal, the pinks. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty sexy. That'll go to the booth. That will go to the booth. This is Jesse. Jesse, this is the shirt you need. What's up, Larry? How are you doing? Printing labels from the weekend sales. Larry's only got 5 million items going out from this week. Look at this. This is called Side Hustler. That is pretty cool. I need to find somebody that's a... Uh, it's a medium that is in the reselling community. And I need to gift this to them. The side hustler shirt. Here we go. Another destination shirt. Destin. Who? Now this is the total opposite of the shirt that I just showed you. Who designed this? It should be fired. You should not have a job in shirt designs. 
if this is your idea of a good shirt. It's just a word, the same font. This is just a shirt with the same font. My wife's asking me if I'm going to Walmart. No, I'm not going to Walmart. Yellow on like a different color yellow. You even got a yellow tag. Nothing on the back. Like, who would buy a shirt like that? Who's like, I need a yellow with a yellow with a yellow tag because I went to Florida. Like, no. How many uh, items do you got going out, Larry? Now, this is cool. I was one of the first kids in Missouri to go through the D.A.R.E. program. There we go. D.A.R.E. Decisions Making for Safe and Healthy Living. Used to be drug and alcohol something education. Rehabilitation education. I don't know what it is. But D.A.R.E. shirts actually do pretty good. Especially these black and red ones like this. Like with that dare font, like that is a, that's a pretty good shirt. People love them. They love them. Oh, we still got a ton of shirts. I paid 15 bucks for all these shirts. Actually, I said 20, but they took it. I, I, I'm That's like a see-through. Like I can still see the screen. Like I can look through up here and still see you guys. Um, that I, I paid 15 bucks for all these, but what happened is that I got into a bidding war with a guy and I said 20 and he said 15 and the auctioneer said, I want it at 15. So I want them at 15 and, um, I should have spent 20 on them, but I'm kind of glad I got them for 15 because I've got a big pile of shirts that aren't really that good for anything. That's pretty color that probably ain't even doing it justice over the camera. Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, sir. You are a man after my own heart. Here's a Tommy Hill figure shirt. Let me see if there's any stains on it. Ooh. Was she at on a straight tequila night? Um, I don't see nothing. Looks pretty good. Not too bad of a shirt. We will... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with her. Get me some more coat hangers here. We're gonna go with her, and I'll put it up here. It's just a yellow Tommy Hilfiger shirt, but that's pretty. That's pretty decent. That's a five dollar shirt. We got ourselves a Amber Crombie and Fitch. Now this is nice. That's. I like that. It's got that big print on it. People want to know. It's vintage, too. It's got the tag. That's probably a good eBay shirt right there. I'll look it up before I take it to the booth. It, it's a muscle shirt. It is a large. I might take this home to my son. I don't know if he'll like it or not. But we're going to we'll place it here on the end. Um, he wears larges. And... Uh, Ooh, I love seeing that. Oh, right there. That's that Harley Davidson logo. I don't know what's on here, but we're going to find out. Harley shirt. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, they ruined it. Joplin, Missouri. They cut the arms off of it. That sucks. That That's a heartbreaker right there. Dadgummit. Dadgummit. Why would you do that to a Harley shirt? Hmm. Best revenge is yo paper. Yo paper. Word to your paper. I'm guessing that means money. The best way to get rid of we're gonna we're gonna live by the shirt. We're gonna die by the shirt. We're gonna get revenge on all the people who come against us with our paper. And I'm guessing paper is money. Uh, we've got Andy of Andy So Meta. He is so meta. He is in the chat. 
He is the man. He is the myth. He is the legend. We are glad to have him in. Just his appearance in my chat, it totally took away my internet. We still got more shirts here. We still have quite a few more t-shirts. I'm just out here trying to be friendly. Here is, I don't know, I guess maybe is Memphis have a, uh, it's an NBA team. I don't know. I don't follow sports. Memphis number 11, and it's Conley. Does anyone know who that is? I have no idea. I'm a fat man who does not um, play sports. I, I need to play sports because I need to not be a fat man because I'm 44 years old, soon to be 45. I'm going to start having them heart attacks because I don't exercise. But that's a keeper. So far, oh, I see a gist. Oh, I see, a, I see something. So far, we've got one. So far, we've got 15 keepers out of the whole bag. The rest of them will be donated or trashed. This is nice. What size is that? That's a large. See, I'm going to be out of this one, too, because this is going to go home to my meathead if you'll wear it. Just do it. Go home to my ogre. I love my sons more than anything in the world other than Jesus. And uh, that's a nice shirt. My son's going to be happy when I go home and bring him a couple of awesome shirts. I don't know if he'll wear the Abercrombie and Fitch because he's not really, he's more of a basketball kind of kid than he is a, uh, like a, like a, whatever, like a, I can't remember what we used to call them back in the day. Um, preps, preppies, they still call them that. They still call them prep boys. The boys that dressed real nice, whose mamas dressed them. And we had a kid that, uh, his mom um, just bought him all of the best clothes. This is nasty. That armpit. It's Calvin Klein, but it's got the armpit stain. So this lady used uh, she. This lady used uh, uh, sulfur sulfuric acid to keep her armpits clean. Um, I don't know what's up with that. We've got another whale here. We've got a Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines. That's a nice shirt. We'll keep that. Oh, boy. We've got Roman in the chat. I am just so happy, Roman, that you are with us today. Um, I've got this nice Vineyard Vines long sleeve with the whale. Um. It's got the nice printed tag there, size large, size large, oh, looky here, we got ourselves another, another Nike shirt, it is a small, so that will not be going home to my meathead, he would be wearing it as a Alter top. That's nice. I like the Nike on here. If you notice, the Nike is camo. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Looks good. That shouldn't sell for five bucks. Mm, excuse me. I don't know what this is. That's a. Anybody heard of Flamingo? It's a. It's a nice shirt. I want to see Roman wearing this. Come on, Roman. This has got your name all over it. I'm going to have to look that up. I've never heard of Flamingo, but it feels like it could be something. Like it's got a really cool feel to it. What do you guys think? If you found this shirt out somewhere, Boogie Nights, you know, I, I think that it's probably worth fooling with. Yeah, that that that's say I need a Santa door ringer because that makes money. That made Roman. How much money did you make yesterday in your live stream? That was really good. I really liked Big Brother. He was a cool dude. I'm gonna put that over there because that's kind of cool. Boogie nights. Kind of like that. 
kind of got a big neck to it, though. I don't know if I like that. I like my collars up here. I don't want no one seeing my cleavage. I don't want none of you guys to see my no-no zones. That can't happen. He made a million dollars. Roman, was that a million dollars or a million rubles? This is a pink, but it's extra small. And it's got stains on it. So it's pink. That's Victoria's Secret. So that's going to go over here into the trash. Oh. I don't know. Earned. 2020. And it says CT on the front. Donate pile. We're getting low on shirts, people. We're getting low. I don't know what you guys are going to do when we run out. Um, This is another pink. A pink. Pink shirt. That thing is something. I don't know. I'll lay it over here in this pile. I don't really like listing women's clothes. Um, I'm not a fan of women's clothing. I don't know anything about it, but I do like t-shirts. This is nice. It's a dry fit. Nike. It's a 3D Colorado. Never heard of it. Um, it is a size large. No, size medium. I was wrong. It does happen. So we're going to take that. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice shirt. Well, what is this? What is this? What is this? This person must have been from Colorado. With all the Colorado stuff and with all the Denver Broncos stuff. Like, that's thin. Like, could you imagine? This is like what you wear to a wet t-shirt contest. Like, like it's just so thin that like, let me see. Like, you can see for it. See how thin that is? Oh, now my camera's upset with me. Let me, uh. And we're back, people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Sorry about it. This one has the neck cut out of it. So we know that's going to be trash, but it looks like it was. Keep calm, stay strong. Another. That thing is. Woo. That thing is eight up. Here's another shirt. It's Buffalo, but man, this thing is roached. Roached. It's going to go into the roached pile. Oh, this is cool. Here's a Sturgis motorcycle rally that's in uh, up there in the old Black Hills. That's South Dakota, right? Up there by the uh, presidents on the Mount Rushmore. That's the word I was looking for. If anyone's watching and you've never been here before, now would be a fantastic time to go down and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm never going to be great. Here's an Everlast shirt. Um, again, no sleeves. But I think it's made that way. But we're still going to donate it. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you go down and subscribe to the channel. I know that uh, I'm not as handsome as Roman or funny as Andy. But... This one here's got like a piece of tape on it that says five bucks, but it is American Eagle, but I just don't, I'm not a fan of it. So it's going to go. And <laughs> we've got two more shirts, two shirts, and that's it. Dittendorf Recycling. I'm a customer <laughs> of Dittendorf Recycling. Who saves this stuff? Who is like, I need me a Dittendorf recycling shirt. 
didn't orf. Didn't orf. Who needs that? Who needs the stuff like this? You don't save these shirts. You don't store them in a storage locker. You just throw them away. Well, if this one isn't appropriate, Roman, <laughs> and Craig, and Jesse, and Andy, and John, look at this. It says, <laughs> America needs Jesus. That's a... That's a shirt. Feels like one of them homemade shirts. So that is going to go into the donate pile. And that was all the shirts. I spent $15 on this bag of shirts. And I'm pretty happy. I probably here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 shirts that I got there that I can put into my booth for five bucks a piece. So that's a hundred dollars, 15 into a hundred. Now, not all of them will sell, but the upside is I've only got to sell three shirts and the whole lot is paid for. And I think that the two shirts that I'm going to give to my son, like that's shirts that we won't have to buy. So I'm already ahead. Pretty good money. And if he doesn't like them, if he says, dad, that's not my style, they're not cool. Then I'm like, okay, son, that's perfectly fine. And I'll take and put them in the booth. And I'll make money on them. But I do take care of my boy first. He's my man. All three of them. I got three boys. And, uh, yeah. So these will get donated. And that's pretty, that's pretty darn cool. I did get a... This is what's left. This is how big the bag was. $15 for that. And they were all folded up real nice. Um, but they're the shirts there are pretty, they're pretty crappy. They're they are pretty crappy. Pat D needs one. Uh, okay. I'll show you. You guys want to see a couple more things I got? Let me show you a couple more things that I got today. Let me pull my clothing rack out of the way. I got a bunch of hats. I haven't even looked through all these hats yet. Somebody gave these to me. This is really cool. This is a shirt that I got. It's a sublime shirt. Um, this will go to the booth. But typically my concert shirts, I'll put seven or eight on. Um, just so I can make a little more money on them because they're harder to find and they're typically more expensive to buy. But I got these for free. I got this St. Louis Cardinals hat from 1985. I've got this really cool, like, roper hat from Alaska with the uh, totem pole on it. That was really, that's pretty cool. Something that I always do whenever I test my hats. Like, see, this one here is already missing a little snap. So that means that they're starting to get old. So I'll flex these and make sure that they're not, because if, they, if they're old, they'll break. And, uh... I don't want to send somebody a crap hat. Um, here's some kind of Ford racing hat, but it's misshapen and it's pretty dirty. Um, typically hats like that, I will, I'll be honest with you guys, they end up going to the trash. I don't clean hats. I'm not going to spend the time that it takes to clean a hat unless it's something that's worth a bunch. And I have sold hats that are worth good money. I sold a hat for a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. I've been selling hats long before it was before it was cool because I used to make hats for a living. And I worked at Cap America. This is St. Louis Rams here, NFL. Um, it's pretty dirty though. It was it was well it was well loved. Uh, like this one's gonna go straight to the chat trash right now because like like it's a green St. Louis Cardinals hat, probably a stadium giveaway. Um, 
here's a white tails unlimited it's pretty filthy it's going to go to the trash um most of the camouflage stuff here is stuff that like here's like a union a teamsters union hat i'm going to file that away down there here is this hat is horrible like who do you like like i wonder shane if he could clean that and get it clean that thing that thing has uh seen some stuff it's seen some stuff um fanning middle school yeah it's definitely a hat that i won't keep um here's a st louis cardinals hat but it's kind of in rough shape all these hats are rough but that's okay i'll keep the i'll keep those because i'll probably lot all these up in a lot and sell them that way that will never happen again the hats rolled off and rolled into my prosthetic leg here that'll never i could never do that again i could never and I was just weird. I looked over and they just bloop right down into the hole. But uh, these I'll probably lot up and sell on on eBay is a is a lot of St. Louis Cardinal hats. Now here you go. This is the hat right here, man. This just that just changes my whole personality. Now I'm gonna get subscribers. I'm gonna get them all. What if I turn it off to the side like that? Now I look like I'm some guy like on TikTok. Like I'm going to start making comedy skits or something like that. Here's a Ford Motorcraft hat. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of it. It's got the sweat stains on it and stuff like that. Um, I don't play around with stuff. Like my goal this year is to get rid of uh, stuff that doesn't. This is nice. Here is a uh 49 or 940 or however it's a new era one of those new era st louis ball caps that's an actually pretty good shape i kind of like that this one i might keep for myself i don't wear uh sporting good hats but like i have a over there i have a hat that it's like a hat rack do i look like dom de louise am i like am i like dom de louise now um but that's a pretty cool hat um, I like that a lot. And here's another St. Louis Cardinals. Now this one's really nice. It's only got a little bit of a little spot right there from the good old sweat. But, but that's a good looking hat. That one I'll probably keep. Maybe keep. I don't know. But these are the hats that I'm going to keep and uh, list in one big lot on eBay. But they're pretty cool. I I like them. I don't really do a lot with sports stuff, but if I see it out, I'll pick it up. Like one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite baseball players ever was King Griffey Jr. I actually had my my King Griffey. Let me see. I don't know if I can show you, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try over here. Nope, shirts are in the way. Let me move them. You can see, no, you can't, you can barely see it on the other side of my ring there, but I actually have my King Griffey Jr., uh, that teal thing there. It's my King Griffey Jr. Uh, uh, um, baseball jersey that I had when I was a kid. And um, I really, I really loved King Griffey. I always thought he was a great ball player, cool dude. But I picked these up the other day. And I don't have my glasses, so I can't really see what year they're from. But they are something that I would have, it would have been around when I was a kid. Maybe you would have been strutting into the uh, book fair with some dollar bills in your pocket. And you could have picked up something like this. These King Griffey Jr. book covers. Those are pretty awesome. I picked up, uh, I picked up like one, two, three, four, five. I picked up five of them. And I don't like sports a whole lot. Um, I don't watch. I don't. I used to love baseball and football, but then it all got political and stuff. So I was like, you know, I I'm done. I'm done. Hey Roman, thank you for the uh, um, thank you for the uh, uh, super chat. I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Everyone works hard for their money, but at this point, we're just trading money back and forth, buddy. Um, but that's funny. I appreciate that. The Coke hat. Uh, we uh, that that Coke hat was pretty awesome. Uh, I think I have a video of it. I actually went to a estate sale and then we were standing outside of the garage door and I was waiting for the doors to lift up. 
and I ran because I seen it in the photos and I ran right for the hat table and started pulling out hats and some lady runs right up beside me and she starts looking through hats, but she was looking for weird stuff. But I found like Komatsu dozer hats and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, it was pretty neat, but, uh, we, we find, uh, but I, I paid five bucks for the hat and flipped it for over a thousand bucks. I sold it for like a thousand and ten dollars. I did get a pair of these lamps today. Um, they are pretty awesome. Uh, I paid a whopping. Um, that one got a little little crooky, crooked, but I you can put that side towards the wall. I paid a whopping two dollars for two of these lamps, and it was the only thing that I can say that was halfway cheap today. Everything else really. Uh, Really was expensive. I'm not very majestic back here. I did get a pair of uh, what I like to call the blingy butt miss me jeans. Um, they're size 26. I sell every pair of these that I get. I've never had trouble selling these before. These were probably like, what, circa 2008, 2010. Um, but these are extra blingy. They've, they got the bling up here. They got these pocket blings. I paid five bucks for these. And then I got two other pairs of jeans. These aren't nearly as impressive. They're just women's gap. They're like a, like a gap these pink gap jeans coral and then i got these uh amber crombie and fitch but they're they're stretchy jeans so they can stretch into them but it'd be neat if i stuck my hand down in this pocket and pulled out a hundred dollar bill <laughs> from my mouth to god's ears right put them on andy that is not gonna happen that is not there is no absolute way that I would ever fit into either pair of these jeans. Um, and I don't want to stretch these out because they're one of the few things that I bought today that's going to make me money. I did find this. I keep hearing plush sells really good. So I bought this. But the thing about this is that if you look at its butt, the tag, it's an UGG. An UGG. Like the boots, it's an UGG bear, an UGG, um, like an UGG teddy bear, which is kind of cool. Um, I like, I like it. Um, and <laughs> Craig, all those hats won't fit me either. Oh, we got Beard King Picker. Thank you for showing up, buddy. Uh, I know you went live the other night, and I didn't know it. Um, and I would have came over and supported you. I'm glad to see you went live, and I hope it was. I hope it was a good live. Most of the stuff I buy because I have my little auction, and I buy stuff like I picked up this. This enamel dish it looks like somebody like murdered somebody it's that red enamel like blood splatter and uh so i picked this up and uh i'll put it in my auction and hopefully i'll make more on it than what i paid for it but that's that's pretty much i mean i bought a bunch more stuff i got a box full of jewelry i think i paid a couple bucks for it um, I did, I did, this is called Galena. It's actually the mineral form of lead. And I got me some crystals. People love rocks and I sell them on my auction 
and people will go nuts over them and I'll get I'll get I'll get that Roman money. That's Galena with uh, iron pyrite on it. That's the iron pyrite right there. And uh, it's what they call fool's gold. Uh, whenever you find lead or galena, you typically will find like other minerals uh, that kind of are in the host vein. If you look like gold, gold typically follows quartz. So like if you find quartz like this, there'll be gold. There could be gold in the quartz, but um, not this. But this has a galena right there. So now we have uh, now we've had our our school lesson for the day. Now we all know about lead. No problem. <clears throat> Four hours of fun. Yeah. I just wanted to go live to show people some of the cool stuff that I bought today. The weather has broken. This is neat here. This is you put your whiskey in the bottom and then you put your shot glass right here and then you can pump your liquor into it. Uh, this stuff sells for me. I, I don't drink, but, um, like I'm not above, uh, supporting people who do, um, I got this. I paid 10 bucks for it. It's a zombie uh, dog. It's a zombie dog. And I love Halloween stuff, monsters and stuff like that. If you can't tell, he's probably going to go in the floor over there by my golden retriever. Because uh, I love dogs. They're like my favorite dogs. Dogs are my favoriteest. And cats are like a very close number two. Like you can barely determine the difference Craig just presses go live where is that Roman Craig I don't know we're going to go through and read the conversations girls go crazy for rocks they do they do you just tell them to rub them and magic things happen and uh, liquor I don't even know her <laughs> Craig that's inappropriate but I do have other things, but it's nothing super exciting. Um, I bought like a Shirley Temple porcelain doll and stuff like that. So I have been live for 52 minutes. So I am going to say thank you for watching. I just wanted to show you guys my stuff. Some of the things, some of the things that I bought today. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching. You guys have a good day and uh, may the Lord shine upon you.